Abu Huraira, he was wearing two garments from linen. He took one of the garments and he wiped his nose with it. And when he did that, the memories hit him. And he said, Bakhin, Bakhin. Bakhin, Bakhin is like, whoa, like, man, you made it. Almost like, like that kind of phrase. He's saying like, Abu Huraira is wiping his nose with linen. And then he mentions what his situation was like before. Abu Huraira used to be from Ahlul Sufa. Ahlul Sufa were the poor in Medina who didn't have any family, didn't have a business or a job or land to raise crops and whatnot. Ahlul Sufa, they lived in the back of the masjid. And so he says that there would be periods in my life when I would walk between the mimbar of the Prophet ﷺ and the room of Aisha radiallahu anha, and I would be so hungry that I would literally fall down and pass out. And people would walk by me, see me on the floor lying down, and they would put their foot on my neck thinking that I was crazy. He says, I wasn't crazy. All that led me to that point was extreme hunger. And he says, now I'm wearing two cloth garments. In another narration also in Bukhari, Abu Huraira tells us a story. He says that I used to lie down and put my stomach against something on the ground to apply pressure to my stomach. And he says, I used to tie a rock to my stomach tightly to put pressure on my empty stomach to relieve the pain of hunger. And he says, and one time I was so hungry that I just sat in the road and I waited for people to pass by. And he says, Abu Bakr passed by. So I asked him about the tafsir of an ayah in the book of Allah. And he says, I didn't really have a question about the ayah. My hope was when I asked Abu Bakr this question, he would say, come over, let's have some chai, some crackers, some dates, whatever. And we'll talk about the ayah. So he was hoping he would get an invitation to the house of Abu Bakr. But he says, Abu Bakr didn't get the hint. He didn't say if he answered the question or not, but he says he just kept going and he didn't invite me over. And so he says, so I waited. And then he says, Thumma marra Umar anhu. I asked him about an ayah in the book of Allah. I only asked him that so that he could invite me to his house and feed me. And he says, he also passed by and he didn't invite me over. And then he says, ثُمَّ مَرَّ أَبُوا الْقَاسِمُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ And then Abu Al-Qasim, the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم, he passed by. And when he saw Abu Huraira, he says, فَتَبَسَّمَ حِينَ رَآنِي Right when he saw Abu Huraira, the Prophet smiled. Abu Huraira says that, and right away he knew what was going on, what I was thinking about, and what you could see in my face of hunger. So he says, يَا أَبَا هِرْ Abu Huraira. He says, لَبَّيْكَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Here I am, O Messenger of Allah. He says, إِلْحَقْ Come with me. So he says, so I followed him and we went to his house. So the Messenger of Allah goes home and he realizes Abu Huraira is hungry. And so he asks, do we have anything at home? And he, he is told that there is a cup of milk. So Abu Huraira is like, okay, alhamdulillah. The Prophet knows what's going on. I'm going to get my meal for the day. But then the Messenger of Allah he tells Abu Huraira, oh Abu Huraira, go to Ahlul Sufa and call all of them over. We're going to have a big party, inshaAllah. Now, Abu Huraira is narrating the hadith himself, and he's being completely honest here, right? He says, Fasa'ani dhalik. Like that, that disappointed me. And he's saying to himself, How can one cup of milk be sufficient for all the Ahlul Sufa, right? And he says, I have more rights to have this milk. I'm here. <laughs> you know, like I'm with the Prophet. Abu Huraira, he hasn't been a Muslim for long, but he already knows some rules. The one who is inviting is going to be the one who is serving, not eating first. So this small amount of milk, not only do I have to invite them, I am going to be the one who will be serving them. So what will be remain for myself? But he says, never will I contradict the command of Allah or the command of the Messenger of Allah. Even if it appears to be at my own loss. If the Messenger of Allah told me to call them, I will call them. So he goes and he calls Ahlul Sufa. As expected, the Messenger of Allah told him to provide the milk to each person. So Abu Huraira goes to the first man and he gives him the milk. And the narration, again, it's very interesting how Abu Huraira is recalling the story. He says, The man would drink hatta yarwa until he would be completely filled. And then he would give back the cup to Abu Huraira. And Abu Huraira would then go to the next person. And the next person would drink and drink and drink until he was filled. Until finally, everybody from Ahlul Sufa drank. So the only people left to drink are two, the Messenger of Allah and Abu Huraira. And so the Messenger of Allah, Abu Huraira says, فَنَظَرَ إِلَيَّ He looks at me, فَتَبَسَّمْ And he again smiles in my face. And he says, أَبَا And he says, لَبَّيْكَ يَا رَسُولَ الله. He says, بَقِيتُ أَنَا وَأَنْتْ There's only two people left. <laughs> Abu Huraira is thinking, who's the milk for, right? So the Messenger of Allah tells Abu Huraira, drink. And so he drank. He finished drinking and he gave it to the Prophet. The Prophet said, drink again. And he drank again. And then he says, the Prophet kept telling me to drink and drink and drink until he says, Oh Messenger of Allah, I swear by the one who has sent you with the truth, I have no space left to drink the milk. And then he gave the cup to the Prophet ﷺ, and then the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, he praised Allah and he said, Bismillah, and then he also drank what remained. 
what I was hoping to draw from the hadith is Abu Huraira himself says the moment he saw me in the street, he knew in my face and what is in my heart that I am here because I'm hungry. But the Prophet took him through this whole exercise, calling others, being generous to others, teaching Abu Huraira to give preference to others over yourself, even if you are the one who is in need. And it's a quality that Allah preserved in the Quran when He says, The Ansar are people who give preference to others over themselves, even if they themselves are in desperate need. And this ayah was actually revealed after an incident that Abu Huraira himself narrated. He says, When a man came to the Messenger of Allah and he was hungry, and the Messenger of Allah went to his house and his wife told him, We only have water. So he said, Who will feed this man? One Ansari man said, I will. So he goes home and he tells his wife, Do we have food? She says, All we have is something that's very a small amount to feed my children. So he says, well, cook the food, turn on the light, the lantern. It was Aisha time, it was dinner time. Turn on the light and then make your kids go to sleep without feeding them. Just keep them busy until they fall asleep. And so she did that. And then what their plan was, they took out the food and they presented it to the guest. And then the wife intentionally, though she made it look accidentally, knocks out the lantern and the light turns out. So they're sitting now in the dark. And so the wife and the husband both are pretending to eat. And the guest feels, he senses that they're eating, but in reality they were pretending to eat because they only had enough food that would feed one adult. And they didn't say this to him, they didn't say this to the Messenger of Allah, they didn't say this to anybody else. The next day when the man goes to the Messenger of Allah وسلم, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, he tells the man that Allah smiled and was impressed and laughed at what you did last night. He didn't say anything to the Messenger of Allah, this was a secret deed he did between him and Allah. The spirit of a believer is not just giving preference to others over themselves, but doing so in a way the person doesn't sense that you're doing them a favor. That the deed is so hidden that Allah revealed an ayah to expose what the man did when he said, وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا that they give preference to others over themselves even when they are in need.